So from the very look of things, we learn that uh, Simon Eba has declared six days sit at home in Biafra land during election dates. And uh, he insists that there won't be election in any part of Biafra. With no doubt, we know that uh, Simon Eba already has the heart of so many Biafrans. They are called the autopilots. Autopiloters because they are tired of um, every day. He continues to talk about Biafra. Uh, he, he, he continues to talk about Nigeria election, Nigeria election, and yet these people come in and mess up the whole system. You know, it's, it's annoying, it's, it's painful, and it continues to, you know, inject some certain behavior in the heart of Biafrans. Now, you see, one of the most important things here is this. You see, when here they are won in most states, free and fair election. Everybody was happy that PDP has not taken over, that emo state will get light back. I never knew that Opozadima was just sitting at the corner. And eventually, they're going to change him. So this is what autopilot have been using, and they have been saying that you that voted in emo state, what happened? Mm -hmm. What happened? You voted in Imo State, what happened with your vote? With your vote count? So in order not in order not to repeat itself again, they are now saying that there is no going to be election in Biafra land. Someone ever is a strong man of course. And uh, we're not going to that estimate that is how the federal government and the estimated and they can until they started seeing international bodies here and there. That is when they knew that that man is beyond what they know. I'm telling you the fact. It was when they realized that the man is beyond what they know. And uh, truth be told, he is truly beyond what they know. And uh, it's whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, this man is just truly beyond what they know. So, in the case of Simon Eba, I'm still saying that taking down election in Biafra land is not really a good idea. Neither is it a bad idea. No. It's just that if you don't do election in Biafra land, then believe you me, these guys will continue to control Nigeria the way they like. These guys will continue to control Nigeria the way they like. So we know that when they vote, they are going to go and replace the person. But let's make efforts. That is what I'm saying. Every day in Nigeria, it's just that the government are busy killing people. It's tiring. It's, it's disgusting. But with all sense of humor, we cannot just sit back and say, since they say that they no election since that if we, if, we, if we vote they are going to change no 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 we shouldn't give them that mandate that they will only change the person we voted into power but well let's see where this thing drives every beer front so that is what i keep asking we hope for the best israel pm to answer some question as he continue to prove that he is now a full dotted IPOB member. You see, there are so many things that has happened in the past. Nikki committed atrocities in OB in Obibo in Patakot. So much that everyone was able to see what has happened 
And you say one thing with Israel, I'm going to take my time to explain to you one thing about Israel. When it comes to Israel and their way of handling governmental stuff, they take it dearly to their hearts with no mercy and with no oblige. This is why people must understand that there are people you cannot touch. No election in Biafran land, no election in Biafran land has been clamoring. And I told you that I will not be one of those channels that will come out and tell you that there shouldn't be an election. There must be an election in Biafran land. Why else people want Namdekanos to stay there? Those who are saying no election in Biafran land does not like Namdekano. I don't know how many times I'm going to explain this thing to you people. If you love Namdekano, then make sure that election happens in Biafra land because if election does not happen if election does not happen in Biafra land you see what they did they are going to put the wrong person in Asorok and you know it's by corruption so the person who don't want the name they can who says it to, to come out but if you allow election to hold in Biafra land then what will happen these dudes who have made themselves kings over the universe yeah. will be able to know that's Nam the Kano is not an ordinary man. So Mike who has to prove to us and give us names. Because he came out and said that if I say what I know, Nigeria will break. You see, some of the, some of these politicians they know what is going on in Asurok. They know that Buhari was replaced by Jibril. They know. They don't want to say it because it benefits them. It benefits them. And that is why you must know the truth. So I urge everybody, every party who is involved in this very thing, don't relent. We are getting closer to our destiny. And in no time, they will see the rot of the Almighty. In no time. In no time. In no time.